Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some East Memories of Salsetta. <clears throat> so, um, I made it to the next, like, talky scene. Basically, um, we ran into Lisa. Um, it looks like Sun might be up with Soul. I don't know, he's kind of writhing in pain. <clears throat> Lisa! Adol! Kalinica! What happened? I, I'm afraid I don't quite know myself. I came to the outskirts to research my ancestors, when suddenly Sol just stopped responding to my commands. He took off, brought me here, then threw me off his back. Threw you off? Why would he do that? I'm afraid I don't know. This has never happened before. So. What do you think you're doing? What if Lisa had been hurt? Answer me! Can he even talk? Where... am I? Well, that uh, answers that, I guess. What? What's that? Why... am I here? Soul can speak? B but that's impossible. So, wait! He has flown away. It looks like he's headed to the other side of the facility. Are you okay, Lisa? Yes, I'm alright. But I have no idea what's going on. This is all so confusing. So, uh, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer, but Soul's never spoken before now, has he? No, this is the first time he's ever said a word. I'm going after him. I have to. Go after him? What should we do, Adol? Let her go. I don't think that's a very good idea. We're already aware of our enemies here that can, can't can be hurt with conventional weapons. She's right, Adol. We have to go with her. But I want to find... Uh, I'm trying to repair the thing. We got bigger things to do than help her find soul. I'm sorry, but you're coming with us, Lisa. But, but... We have our own reasons to explore this location, so it seems only logical that we work together in this. Hmm. <laughs> Besides, which... We'd be happy to have you with us. Don't fight it, Lisa. Like it or not. You're coming with us. Alright, when you put it that way, how can I say no? Thank you, everyone. I still hate you. I hope, I hope you know that. I still don't like you. You still screwed up. We could have had the Mask of the Sun fully perfectly fine. But yeah, everybody seems to forget that she, she, she got easily tricked. I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not forgiving her for that. Not one bit. Crazy if she thinks I'm forgiving her for that. Ow. Better catch up, Lisa. I'm not stopping. Lisa. Uh, she ruins everything, doesn't she? Alright, come on. Stupid lady. I don't care. She's not redeemed in my book as a, um... As a, a like, a, a heroine, uh, girl for Adol. 
He's had so many better. And always has. Lisa! She's... <sighs> Where is she? I didn't sign up for this escort BS. Isn't she a guardian? Shouldn't she be able to hold her own? I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm hoping. Move, move, move. He's, uh... Drop. I'm not playing. Does she not want to catch up? I can sit here all day, but I don't want to. There you are, finally. Jeez. Why are you so bad, Lisa?
You're guarding a door. I need to get through that. Die. Got you. Lisa, you're right. she how is she missing? She's right No, never mind. She is all the way over there. Why is she over there? Come on, lady. You're the worst. We're, we're busy here. Okay, this has to be the area, right? So that that soul could talk. I wonder if the soul is um is King LaFonce or something spirit or of some sort. Looks like we're back outside. Sure, it's windy out here. Lisa, look! So, so this is where you went off to. Come on, Nato. Come on, Nato. You know this is a boss fight. A screaming boss fight. So, can you hear my voice? Why am I here? Why am I here? So? What could be wrong with him? Ah, my head is throbbing. The pain, the pain, the pain, the pain. What's going on? Everyone stand aside quickly. Gah! Lisa! Looks like he doesn't even recognize his own master. He's completely lost it. If we don't stop him, our lives will be in danger. Lisa, I'm sorry, but we're going to need to try to subdue him. Is that alright? Yes, of course. I have no desire to put anyone in any more danger. Please, do what you must. Yeah, we're gonna kick his ass. I don't even know why she asked for permission. You don't deserve permission. We're kicking your monster's ass. Alright, let's go at all. The muddled Galblin. Soul Galba. Ow. Oh, so we have to hit his. We have to knock his feet out. Okay. Come on, at least one foot should have been out. Wait, what's he doing? There you go. And then his hands? Really? Oh. Oh, and then his head. That's where our damage goes in. That's a lot to knock down off of this guy. Alright, I got a charge up move too. I have to get this uh, get this out next time we get him down. Ow. Oh, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. Shake it off, Adol. Shake it off, shake it off. Ow. Ow. Oh my gosh. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Shake it off, shake it off. Alright, one leg down. Oh, uh, he's gonna pounce, he's gonna pounce. Other leg, other leg. No, he's pouncing again. Ow. 
Dude! Take the leg out, take the leg out! Oh my gosh. Whatever. Again? Go away. Take the leg out. There you go. Alright, hands, 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 hands. Gail Stinger. Take the other hand, take the other hand. Go for it, Soul Breaker. Break your face, Soul. Just like the name says. Nah. I don't like this angle. It's hard to kind of get the the amount of attacking I want off on him in that angle. Ah, I can't get close enough. Ow. Go away, go away. Go away! Jeez. Ow. Come on. I can't get one foot to go away. There you go. One foot down. Ow. And other foot. One hand. I can't see. This is the problem right now. Got him. Are you alright, everyone? We are fine. His attacks have ceased, but... But that's the best we can do. Yeah, he's as tough as he ever was, that's for sure. What could have happened to him? He's never behaved like this before. It's almost as if he's possessed. So... W what? Oh, crap. What's happening now? It's LaFonce, right? I feel like it's LaFonce. Lisa, stay back! It's alright. There's no reason to be afraid. What? It's you. Welcome, dear descendant. And welcome also to you, travelers of the great forest. I am the Fox, the former king of Celsetta and close friend of Eldeel's. Thank you for calming my distressed soul. It is truly a strange feeling to be able to meet with those who live hundreds of years after my own time. King LaFonce? How is this possible? My body was lost 800 years ago when the Kingdom of Salceda fell. However, my soul remained chained to this world sealed away and upon my release i lost all control wow this is amazing um may i ask how you became trapped inside soul as i wandered this world aimless and alone i was drawn to a certain strong will strong will you 
yours, the will of my descendant, and her stalwart wish to save my friend, Eldil. Ah! Uh. Ah! <laughs> well, she did come barreling in her here all on her own just to find him, so I can definitely see what you mean. Honestly. D Durin! Your ability to control the soul Galba I created may have also played a part. I found myself guided toward it, and eventually wound up inhabiting it. However, I initially remained unable to control it, causing it to go berserk. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Um, King Lafonce, actually... Something has happened to Eldil, has it not? The fact that my soul was released can mean only one thing. The Black-Winged One has manifested in this world again, just as he did 800 years ago. H how do you... It was none other than myself who sealed the Black-Winged One away. And as such, the fact that I have been released means that he too has been released. What? There is more than I must share with you. But I need not do so here. We can speak as we go. Though there is something else you must do before we leave this place, is there not? Yes, we need to find a way to repair the Mask of the Moon. Eight hundred years ago, the Mask of the Moon's magic was depleted and its power lost. However, the magic stored in the altar here should be sufficient to replenish it. So you can fix it? I believe I can. Visitor to the Force, accepted by Aldeel. Your name is Adol, is it not? Place the Mask of the Moon upon the altar, Adol. This is not my area of expertise, but I will do what I can. Wow! Amazing! Ah, the mask! Is it repaired? I was successful. Please, take this with you, Adol. Acquire the Mask of the Moon. So now we can get inside the Temple of the Sun. Thank you so much for your assistance. Think nothing of it, but now you must hurry, as little time remains. If you wish to stop the Black-Winged One, you must proceed to the Temple of the Sun at once. I will go on ahead. There is little I can do to help in battle, but I can at least serve as a guide. Oh. And off he goes. If he has sealed away the darkness from Eldil's soul before, then we must trust that he will succeed once more. But how did he do it? I imagine we'll find out soon enough. Cl clearly he has a lot more to tell us, and no matter what the situation, we need to hurry back to the Temple of the Sun. Nina! You called? Can you go and scout the area around Elduke? Okay. I'll be leaving with Sol. We'll meet again at the Temple, Adol. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> I'll do my best not to. Guess we're stuck going up the long way again. Come on, everybody. Not really, right? Because I can just do this. Um, yeah, I can just... Not really the long way, Darren. But if that's what you want to... You want to say, you know. See so if we have anything to sell that will be able to get me a couple more inventory item -y thingies, my bobbers.
gonna go for broke. Why not? Oh, let's also save it. Oh, not on this one. Extra saves for the win! Alright. Nina, what's the situation at the temple? Now's the best chance we've got. There's no one there around. Those mass division soldiers all suddenly came to their senses. Then that Leo guy came and took them away. Sounds like Bammy's defeat did more than just free Remnos. Leo actually made himself useful, too. Didn't see that coming. He's not exactly a model soldier, but it's obvious he means well and really wants to help wherever he can. <laughs> and to think up until recently we couldn't get rid of him fast enough. All right. Time's a waste, Donato. We're almost there. The Temple of the Sun. It's almost surreal that we're actually going in there. Let's do it. Oh. Lisa. <laughs> I see that everyone is here. King LaFance. The Black Winged One is still inside the temple by all appearances. Completing the ritual to activate the Akashic Records requires a significant amount of time. I assume he is presently focused on that. Come to think of it, whatever happened to Gruda? I'm afraid I cannot say. We should rem remain on guard. He is not a foe to be underestimated. So, uh, we've been so focused on getting inside the temple, we haven't really had much time to think about this, but... How exactly are we supposed to stop Lord Odile, anyway? <laughs> oh dear, are you starting to get scared, Duran? Afraid we won't be able to finish what we started? <laughs> Duran's a scaredy cat! Duran's a scaredy cat! Oh, come on! I'm sure that thought's crossed your mind too by now. I agree. It would be unwise to challenge him unprepared. As it stands, there is a little chance of Odile returning to its f to his former self. What? There is no need to panic. The key to subduing him lies in the Mask of the Moon. Although its effects will be temporary, the Mask of the Moon has the ability to seal the Black Winged One's powers. Eldeal designed to it with such function, function himself. So how does it work? You will have to force the Mask onto him. It will, not, it will be no easy task, but it's the only way. If successful, Eldeal will be returned to his normal self, albeit only for a short time. During that time, we can retake the Mask of the Sun, and he won't be able to use the Akashic Records for nefarious ends. So we may be able to stop the records from being misused, at the very least. And that's definitely our primary concern. But when you say Lord Aldeal would only return to normal for a short period of time... Lisa... We must speak with Aldeal once he is cognizant again. Then, perhaps, we can find another way. For now, it's best if you not overthink the situation. Concentrate only on what must be done. Y yes. First things first, we have a door to open, right? We do, but the question is, who should do the honors? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that. <laughs> yep! Lisa! No, me, of course. Indeed. No objections here. <laughs> Nor here. Well, if Frida says so, I have no objections either. <laughs> Adel's like, what? <laughs> Adel. All of this started when you came to Celesta. Ah, uh, Celsetta, Adel. Yes. This crisis would have occurred sooner or later, whether you had visited this land or not. <laughs> but if not for you, I don't think we'd have met one another like this, nor would we be so close to resolving the matter now. <laughs> Adel's definitely been the glue that's held us all together during this journey. Adel. Yep. Adol, you're the man. If anyone's going to open up this ancient temple, it's gotta be you. You were the one Lord Odile chose to summon to his tower during these trying times. It would seem you have been chosen by destiny, destiny to aid this land in its time of need, Adol Christian. Therefore, I would ask that you don the mask now and stand before the temple door. <laughs> cool. 
Look at him. Look at that battle, so cool. It opened. What awaits us inside may be beyond all imagining. <laughs> it's finally happening. The time has come. Don't worry, Lisa. We'll bring Lord Eldeal home safely. I know you will. Let's go, Adol. Why is Lisa still following us? I don't want to escort her in here. I want to do it myself with my team. It's so quiet in here. I would suspect no one is around. This area was once used as an audience chamber. The black winged one is in the room beyond here, where the Akashic records are stored. We must hurry, Adol. Our time grows ever shorter. You again. Do you ever touch? Do you never tire of trying to interfere, red-haired swordsman? And as for you... Loathsome King of Salsetta, who has kept me sealed away for all these centuries. What brings you crawling back after all this time? Black-winged one, what a curious question you ask. Why else would I be here than to have you return the Mask of the Sun and the Akashic Record? Wait, that huge round thing is the Akashic Record? I was thinking it'd be a book. Ha, <laughs> huh. the Akashic Record contains laws that construct the world around us, as well as all that has been or ever will be, and the path that every being will take, man and god alike. Such an unimaginable volume of information could not possibly be stored in a mere book. And yet, despite possessing something so powerful, the white-winged one did little with it. Truly a fool. How dare you! Lord Eldeo, he... I'll use it to bring natural disasters upon the whole European continent, the likes of which the world has never seen before. Earthquakes, floods, firestorms, plagues, disasters of such scale that they eradicate humanity from the land altogether. C can he really do something like that? I am afraid so. The Mask of the Sun allows its wearers to alter the Akashic Record. If the wearer so desires, the records of our world and the people within it can be overwritten, at least partially. You've got to be kidding. Why would you wish to do such a thing? Humans are sinful creatures, yes, but we cannot accept that such a fate is inevitable, nor even deserved. <laughs> you know why I'm doing it? Because it's an action befitting a god. You're trying to tell us that wiping out humanity is something a god's supposed to do? There's no way that... I've wasted enough time talking to you feeble creatures. At least act like humans in your final moments and kneel before me. The mask! The black-winged god, Eldeal. The time for exposition is over. To mark this moment of becoming a true god, I shall bury you with my own hands. <laughs> Consider yourselves fortunate to be permitted such an honor. Duh. It seems we have no choice, Adol. You will have to seek an opening while fighting him. Be on your guard. Let's do this. Battling a god! Ow! Ow! He's got fire for days! He's lit! He's lit! Oh, god! Come on, Eldeal. Oh my gosh! The, the earthquakes, though! Ow! Ow! Oh, god! Let me get closer to you at least before you do another move. Wait, what's that? What's that? I'm scared. He hurt pretty badly.
Come on, we got him half health. Well, half of his his main health. I mean, I mean his secondary health. What am I saying, main health? You teleport a lot, don't you? Oh god! Oh my lord! Flung me into the air with that. Learn sky drive. Said. Okay. Got a secondary health. What's he doing? What's he charging? Right, get away from me. I don't know what he's doing. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't know what that was, but not catch me with that. Ah. No, I'll deal. Oh, the, the wind. Oh, that's, that's death. I gotta heal. Oh gosh! Oh, I'm dead. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. Battle back. I hate, uh. He's got like. He does like crazy hexagonal shapes with the frickin' wind. It's nuts. Ah! ah. I want to get my special so badly. I'm almost there. <sighs> get up, get up. No, 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 no. Oh, God, again. Ow, ow. Jeez. Wait, what's he doing? I'm trying to get around toward him. Oh, I got my special! Do it! Soul Breaker! I don't know what he's doing, but I'm stopping it right now! Nah! Oh my god, that wasn't enough! But you're gonna die. Yes. All right. Stick it on him. Did did we win? Very good. Wh what? Lisa, look! I see it. His hair and his wings. It appears we have our chance to speak with the true Aldeal. Adol, quickly, hand me the Mask of the Moon. Adol gave the Mask of the Moon to Aldeal. Now, I should be able to remain in this persona for a while. Oh dear. When I created this mask... I had no idea it would be used quite like this. Maybe I should have designed it to look a little more appealing. My. <laughs> well, the ending was a little anticlimactic, but I'm glad everything worked out. I am overjoyed to see that you all made it here safely. And I'm sorry for worrying you, Lisa and Kalilika. As for you, Adol, I have no doubt caused you the te uh, no end of trouble. And it has been quite a while, my dear friend. Eight hundred years, I believe. Thank you for sealing away the Black Winged One all those centuries ago. Although I could never have imagined that you'd continue to keep it sealed away for so long. 
That wasn't what we agreed on, but at this point, I'm just glad to see you safe. Everything is thanks to Adol and his friends. Still, it doesn't... Uh, it does not seem we have the luxury of time to be reminiscing about the past. You are correct, we don't. Um, King Lafont, wouldn't it be possible for me to seal away the other Lord Aldeal the same way you did? If there's anything I can possibly do to help. Lisa. Lisa, I appreciate the sentiment, but it is not my wish to seal him away at the expense of someone else's life. I never hope to see that happen again. Oh, so that's how King Lafonce died. Long ago, I believed that he was a completely separate being who had manifested within me. However, as time passed, I came to realize that he is much a part of me as the one you see before you now. What do you mean? I've long believed that keeping harmony in the world by carefully m matting out knowledge was my duty, and I did so as such. But at some point, I began to doubt whether giving knowledge to people in this manner was the right thing to do. Those doubts constant, constantly grew within me, eventually coming together and taking form. And that is the black-winged one who stood before you earlier. That can't be true. On the surface, he may seem to be the embodiment of cruelty, simply existing to inflict destruction upon the world. But he believes that by overcoming the great or ordeals placed before them, people can develop on their own. Looking back upon history, it is true that people become stronger through overcoming adversity. And as a result, people learn to think and walk for themselves without the aid of gods. In a sense, the Black-Winged One was born just as much out of love for humanity as I. I had no idea. So it seems even God is imperfect. How disappointing. Gruda. Gruda! How is Lord Eldeal uh, imperfect for showing concern? You hadn't noticed. The Black -wing Winged One didn't use the power of the Mask of the Sun in your battle at all. Now that you mention it... He didn't? Such a careless error. But now I have the chance to see my true desires realized. I wish to see how humanity reacts when faced with cruel cold despair, greater even than the ordeals of a god. What are you saying? That's why I supported the Black-Winged One and devised this new generation of Darklings who mourn this world. And yet this god here has proven quite useless to that end. Gruda, you... A perfect ordeal. Give me a second here, guys. A perfect ordeal can be only be executed by one who bears perfect malice. In other words, humanity itself. If it is the duty of a god to challenge humanity, then truly it is a duty most befitting a human. The Mask of the Sun! When did he acquire that? No. How? He's gone! Where did he go? I dare not even say it, but I fear that's exactly what he did. He has entered Iris. Iris? The place where the contents of the Akashic Records are stored. They take the form of spiritual light and occupy another world where they can typically be neither seen nor touched. And that world of records is known by the name Iris. And that's where you suspect Gruda has gone? It's the only logical conclusion. The Mask of the Sun was originally made to allow its wearer to enter Iris and change the records stored within. I fear that Gruda is going to bring about disaster in the real world by n manipulating the records directly. <sighs> you just keep sinking lower and lower. He's even more brazen than the other Lord Eldeal. We cannot allow him to have his way. But what are you supposed to do? 800 years ago, the Black-Winged One entered Iris much like Gruda has now. I followed him and sealed him away. 
With time, however, the seal weakened and he managed to break free. I see. So that means we can follow him inside, then. Indeed. I will secure a route using the Mask of the Moon. That should grant you access. Thanks. Glad to have someone like you on our side. I will join Ada and the others within the world of records. I should be able to guide you through its depths at the very least. Thank you, King LaFance. Lord Odile, I... I'm afraid Sol Galba's mass may be too much for me to transfer inside. Could I ask you to remain here and support me? Yes, of course. We have to hurry, Adol. The Black-Winged One is not sealed away forever. If sufficient time passes, he will begin to re-emerge. Okay, let's get going then. Remarkable. There's not an ounce of hesitation on your face. You almost make me understand the Black-Winged One's perspective. You represent the capability and ingenuity of humanity. I will open the gate to Iris. Thank you, my friend. Is that it? This is the gate, yes. Adol, best of luck to you in there. But be, be very careful, and Godspeed. This is the world of the Akashic Record. I guess this Iris place is full of all kinds of information about our world. That must mean you embarrassing future your embarrassing future is recorded here too, Doran. Hey, my future's gonna be awesome. So all the knowledge I'll deal gifts to the people come from these records. If so, that raises a question. If Lord Odeal grants people knowledge, surely that means contradictions will arise between the records and reality, no? The records are not infallible. The world is merely guided by the events here. Unexpected events do occasionally occur. I've heard Eldil suggest that he gives knowledge to people in order to compensate such abnormalities. And while his actions do create further contradictions, Eldil corrects all of these himself using the mask of the sun. That is, as he sees it, his heavenly duty. So he corrects... Abnormalities in the fabric of existence? Isn't that a lot of work and a huge responsibility? This is the course of human history. You change one thing and it'll change another. How can one guy just deal with that? That is a completely accurate assessment, yet there's no other who can perform such work. He has never once complained. I have to admit, it sounds like him. But if the Mask of the Sun allows its wearer to correct the records... Yeah, we're in real trouble if we don't stop Gruda. On the highest level of Iris is the central area where the device used to manipulate the records is located. It is safe to assume that Gruta will be moving toward that location. How do we get there? I can't see any stairs or anything. The highest level of Iris is a vast distance above us. Even with stairs, it would be a lengthy and exhausting climb. The owner of the Mask of the Sun can warp directly, but others must silence the three guardians in order to ascend to the highest level. Guardians? Ahead of us, three doors. Each leads to a different area, bronze, silver, and gold. Within each area sits a guardian. When all three guardians have been defeated, the path to the center will open. Pretty tough security. Do we need to defeat the guardians in a specific order? No, any order will do. However, we must reach Gruda before he finishes analyzing how to operate the device in the central area. 
I feel like we've been saying this way too much, but I guess there's no time to waste then. Let's go, Adol. Can I go back? I can. Okay. I'm also probably gonna skip this, honestly. Um, I don't think the battles honestly would be worth watching. Uh, I think, I mean, I am gonna end it here. I'm probably gonna come back once we have already killed all three of the Guardians. I just don't feel like these will be worth watching because I, 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 I kind of cheated myself. Um, not really. Sort of. I, I seen what the Guardians look like. They don't look that great. I mean, they look kind of generic-ish. Nope. So yeah, uh, next part will probably be the last part. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.